Welcome to So Like a Pro Time. I'm Teresa Sigman, and instead of talking about your dance sport, country, or skate dress, we're going to take a tour of this lovely, efficient home sewing room. Now, for a lot of you with your home sewing rooms, space is at a premium. Some of you may be lucky enough to have a dedicated home sewing room, but a lot of you are probably like this in that it also doubles as a guest bedroom. So how do you pull it all together so that it looks great, suits your personal taste, and is highly organized and efficient, yet will house a house guest? This room happens to belong to one of my good friends, Rhonda. We've known each other for several decades now, and she used to work for me at Seam Sensational. She's highly organized and a really talented seamstress, and she has a lot of fabulous products jammed into this room, which are very well camouflaged. Now, Rhonda's personal taste is that she really likes antiques and older country style items. So when you look around in this room, the most modern thing you'll see here is the industrial sewing machine sitting behind me. On this side, you'll see this fantastic green tin bread basket. I think it belonged to her mom. And then next to that is this is her serger. Is the cat on the, oh my gosh, Sophie. As you look around behind me, you'll notice that the most modern thing in the room is the industrial sewing machine right behind me. Otherwise, Rhonda really likes antiques, and a lot of the items in the room on display were her mother's. So you'll notice this fantastic metal green bread box, which is full of sewing items. Next to that is her serger, which has this adorable little country cover on it. In addition to having the items sitting on the shelves, she also has these two really fabulous wicker baskets that serve as storage to hold her fabrics as well as look functional, so at least they're not in the way. Now, whenever she gets ready to serge, she can, of course, move the wicker basket, pull the serger out, put another chair there, and she's ready to work. And then, Likewise, the wicker basket next to the bed here can also house a lamp whenever she has a guest arriving. So come on, let me go ahead and take you through a tour. So if we take a closer look at this bread basket, which often has pictures of her children magnetized to the outside, it is chock full of items. Now I have to confess, it's usually a little tidier than this, a lot of this was crammed in here because she was actually just helping me finish a ball gown. <laughs> so I just crammed all her stuff in here. Otherwise, she's got this adorable coffee mug with all the pencils and things that she would normally use. Tidy little box here of um, miniature threads. And so everything in here is very easy for her to find. And the drawers and the cupboard, likewise, she keeps her manual handy the foot pedal for her serger, and then other sewing items that she re routinely uses are all tucked away nice and tidy in here. Over here, serger. This is actually really fabulous because one of these sergers was her mom's. And, oh yeah, look at this. This thing, whoops unless I break it, this thing works fantastic. It is smooth and quiet. Oh, love, love, love this serger. And then if we keep looking over here, this is just such a cute collection of things that are meaningful for her, but yet are attractive for a guest that's staying in here. And while some, not all of it is you know, efficient as far as sewing goes, it's okay. Look at this fabulous collection right here of buttons and, and jars, threads and old containers. And then of course, to stay, you know, with the functional aspect, this is full of sewing supplies. All of these little drawers are full of sewing supplies. And so she can find everything that she needs at a glance. Both of these drawers are full of sewing supplies, as is this basket here, but yet it's all cohesive. This actually tucked away in the corner here is one of my favorite items. Again, another basket so that it stays consistent with the rest of the room. And it's a great way to store long items, measuring sticks, specialty items, pattern making paper, 
but yet it keeps it really fun looking. Now, if I open the drawers, this is packed with really fabulous, useful stuff. And you'll notice how all of it is labeled. It's in clear tubs, so it's easy to see. And she has everything that she needs at a fingertip. And if we continue the inspection on the other side of the closet, again, organized. She has like fabrics together. But one of my favorite pieces in here, she got all the rest of her scissors and other everyday items tucked away in this clear item. Clear items really do make things so much easier because you know what's in them. But ideally, you would keep them labeled as well. This is actually one of my favorite items. And this really is an old pattern case. Literally all three drawers in here are chock full of patterns. So if you are a collector like many seamstresses are, this is a really fun, fabulous way to keep all of your patterns all in one place. I hope you've enjoyed today's tour of the home sewing room. And if you found value in this video, please tell all your dancing, skating, sewing friends go to sewlikeapro.com, leave me your name and email address so you never miss one of these videos. And lastly, leave a comment. What's your favorite part of this home sewing room? And what do you do in your sewing room that you think everybody else needs to know about? That's it for today. Thanks so much and I will talk to you again soon.